Hello everyone. Nowadays, I'm getting a lot of questions related to certification and 2022 batch, uh, some CSE and some most of the non-CSE student are asking me whether they should go for a certification or not. But I didn't get the answer like why they want to go for a certification. So basically, my intention of making today's video is uh, I want to know why you are looking for a certification. Ask this question to yourself. First answer could be I'm assuming your first answer could be for the sake of job, I want a certification. And the second answer might be because I am interested in that technology and I'm looking my future into that technology. That's why I want to do a certification into that. Okay, so suppose your answer is option number one then I would request you do not waste your money into those certification just for the sake of job because getting a job has no relation with her certification. For a fresher, the employer, the company is not expecting you to be certified enough in XYZ technology. The company just they are looking for a skill. If you have the skill, you can crack the interview and you can get the job. But certification and skills, these are two different things. Okay, you might go for a certification, you can learn the skills. But here you are wasting a lot of time, a lot of your time and a lot of your money over getting, buying the certification, which will cost you near around. If you are going for an original certification, then it will cost you near around 10K to 14k 20k it depends on what certification you are going for are you getting my point so just ask yourself and if you are going for a job shake then i would not suggest you to go and buy the certification i will share you my story at the end what i did because i was also a little bit confused to get my joining early and I was thinking like maybe if I'm certified in some technology, then maybe the company will call me early. Maybe I will get my, you know, joining early. That's what I thought. I'll share my story at the end. Just give me some time. Now, the second option. Okay, I'm interested in that. I'm looking my future into that. So first get a job and you can proceed with the certification into that. So as of now, what I would suggest you go and learn the technology take a course into that buy a course now before sharing my story i have an announcement for you those who are preparing for gate 2022 guys academy is going to launch new batches for gate and ese preparation 2022 and 2023 these batches are for electrical and ece and the batches is starting from 1st September 2021. ECE batch for crack gate 2022 and there is another batch that is for your East gate 2023 preparation. Gate and ESC 2023 preparation that is batch G is going to start and one is for gate 2022 preparation that's a crack gate batch 2022. Now there is Two more batch that is target batch target ese prelims 2022 and these batches are for electrical and ece background and the batches batch a is going to start from september 1st and you can see down below the scheduled and the test series the topic covered everything all the detail you can get in the description box so I will provide you the link in the description box. You can go ahead and check it out. And these batches are going to be taken by India's top tutor. So go ahead and check it out. Link, in, say, uh, link is in the description box. If you are using my coupon code TEL10, then you are going to get 10% discount into that. Now let me share you my story. I have literally spent uh, 40K on a certification before take before getting into the company means while i graduated in may i was not getting my joining early so i thought let's take a certification and trust me i randomly took the certification that word sql and plsql basically that certification cost me that time around 10k 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 for sql 10k for plsql and 10k 10k means 20k for my training yes i took offline training that time and 
I spend it 40k around for SQL means date database. But to be really frank, I'm not seeing my future into database uh, in you know a developer kind of role. Uh, so basically why I did that certification just to get my joining early and that's why I'm telling you if you are looking for um, your joining maybe you if you're looking for a job or a joining to get a joining early and you are doing the certification then do not waste your money because anyhow the joining is based on the business requirement so you are going to get your joining maybe early or late but at the end of the day you are going to maybe regret why I did that because I'm not seeing my future and presently now when to do a certification option number one suppose I'm working in a company and I'm working on technology like Java or AWS suppose I'm working in these two technology then if I'm going for the certification into that then this is going to help me in my career growth are you getting my point so if you are presently what you are working on and you are so presently what you are working on and you are doing a certification now then it is going to help you out then it is going to help you now suppose I'm working on Java and AWS and I want to do a certification in DevOps then this may not help me in career growth suppose I am not interested in into DevOps and I'm taking just for the namesake that I have multiple certification okay this is point number one now suppose you are interested in DevOps and you are stuck in some other technology then this time as a working professional after one or one and a half year or two year not much then as a working professional now what you can do to shift your gears towards a different technology you can take the certification and move towards that technology internally inside the organization or if you are not getting vacancy inside organization for that particular technology even after doing the certification into that then make a switch to a different company which has opening into that certification in, into that technology so now this certification is going to help you for your future for your career where you want where you want to be means your field of interest so basically two way you you can do certification either to grow your career to uh, for a growth in the industry in the existing technology and second is for your switching of the technology if you are not interested or happy with the present technology you can switch the technology by doing some certification and take the job internally or outside the organization depends on you but as a fresher with zero year year of experience I would recommend you first brush up your skills work on your skills because you are going to get jobs only based on your skills and projects you are doing getting my point so even though you have multiple certification the interviewer is not going to take that interest on your certification number of certification rather he will be taking interest in your skills and the questions will be completely based on your skills hope you got my point in. now hope your doubt is clear regarding when to do a certification hope this video was informative to you if it was informative to you don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet thank you guys thank you for watching